Hi everyone and welcome back to White Wave Tarot. Thanks to Trudy for suggesting this missing persons case about Paul Stevenson. I didn't read too much about it apart from the basics because I wanted to let the cards tell me about the situation without bias. So the facts are Paul Stevenson, aged 47, left his home in Bundaberg at 4am to ride to Paradise Dam and his proposed route was unknown. His bike and helmet were located on the 13th of March 2012 on the Mount Perry Jinjin Road but even after extensive searching of the area there was no trace of him. He's been missing for eight years now. And as I was shuffling the deck, this card fell out. That's the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is the end of the journey. Lessons for him have been learnt. He's begun another journey. So these characters here could be his children. He's still watching over them and guiding them. And they may be able to sense his presence at certain times. The first thing that strikes me about this spread is the amount of cups there are. There's five out of ten cards are cups. This is a man who's loved by many people in his family and within the community. He also had a lot of love and kindness to give other people. There are two major arcana cards. So whatever happened to him was highly spiritual it was meant to be and regarding the situation the first card i get is the card of death so i think you'll find that's the answer to what happened to him he's not alive anymore he has passed on unfortunately and it feels like he's been gone for a long time he looks at peace. The obstacle here, he's not there to look after his family. And something happened to him that caused his death was unseen. It, it happened behind his back. Something that he wasn't prepared for. There's a lot of strength here. I don't think he found it difficult taking on hard jobs and looking after himself. There may have been a short time of having to be self-reliant uh, before passing on and he was a long way from home and a long way from help. The village is way over there in the distance and he's far away from that. So how the situation affected him Queen of Swords in reverse. He lost confidence because he was unable to communicate with loved ones. He may have lost his mobile phone or it didn't work or he couldn't pick up a signal or it ran out of battery power so he couldn't communicate with anybody to tell them where he was or what had happened. In the recent past, the moon, he liked to explore the unknown. It was a passion of his and his trip that day was instinctive. This is a night scene showing that he may have got confused because things look and feel different at night. What he was aware of, change. Five, fives are about change. And this is quite a negative card, a negative looking, negative feeling card. So it feels like he was immobile. He, he couldn't see a way out. The path ahead was daunting and he's very discouraged. The situation he finds himself in is not what he expected. There is spiritual guidance here with the rose at his back, but He's, he feels like, it feels like he's in a lot of trouble there. So the situation he finds himself in is not what he expected. So 
he finds himself in a dangerous situation. There's a feeling here of being trapped in a ravine. There's, a, there's some overgrowth here. Um, so whether his bike or his body it has been trapped. I don't think it was his bike because they found his bike. So I think he, he personally was is trapped or has fallen somewhere under cover where you can't see him can't see the body so he could be he, he could have been trapped in a ravine or in a deep hole in the wilderness unseen from others so something under under the surface it's pointing downwards you can't see the body so it's covered over with wilderness basically so that's the situation and now we have the outer part of the situation where how the situation is seen by others. So there's a lot of sadness here and loss felt by family and friends, things he's missed out on, missed opportunities, perhaps feeling that they took him for granted, didn't appreciate him enough. His family are finding it hard to move on and, and find closure. There's a lot of sadness in this card. His family are very nostalgic, always looking back and sharing memories about him. He was greatly loved. Someone keeps watching and waiting for him to return. And there was a celebration around the time he disappeared. So a, ce a family celebration. So what's needed by his family to work through the situation? The Two of Cups. Sharing and coming together, recognising his memory, perhaps celebrating special events, his birthday and other important occasions, and having a public memorial for him. The outcome? Knight of Cups. His sense of adventure was a personal need and gave him a sense of achievement and worthiness and this was unique to him. He was very self-aware. He had a great drive to explore even when it may have been dangerous. At the base of the deck we've got the Knight of Pentacles. So this shows that he was a very predictable man, a reliable hard-working person who wouldn't do anything unexpected and he could always be relied upon to be there for others. And the wreath around the horse's neck shows that he was respected, acknowledged and commended for those qualities. So just recapping, there is definitely a lot of love around him. Um, he was a very kind just the feeling I get is that he was a very kind, helpful person who would always help people in the community and his family. And in turn, he was loved and respected for that. So this is the event that happened in general, what happened when he disappeared, something unexpected. Um, that unforeseen behind his back, not not necessarily literally behind his back, but something that uh, he he wasn't prepared for. He couldn't communicate, and it was still darkness when this event happened. So if it was the early morning, it's usually still dark at around four o'clock. So it would have happened in the early. Um, hours of the morning when the moon's still up and he's found himself in a situation that he was not prepared for very stressful can't see a way out but he's definitely spiritually guided and I think because they found his motorbike it wasn't actually hidden I think this refers to his body being hidden under the ground. The sword is pointing down. There's a crack in the ground here um, and there's a vine above. So I think he, there's a lot of undergrowth hiding his body. So there doesn't look to be any violence or 
I don't think it's suicide either. I don't think there's enough evidence to show that. There's too many cups here. I think what happened to him was very unexpected. These are the first two cards. Death, unexpected. So it wasn't something that he deliberately set out to do. So I'm going to use the Kipper deck now and see if we can find a bit more detail. So I've pre-selected the main character here, which is Paul Stevenson. So in the centre we've got Paul's um, Significator card and at the base of the matter we've got Rejuvenation and something that gave him comfort. So going out on his bike rejuvenated him and gave him comfort. It was something he enjoyed doing. Personal therapy if you like. Something made him change his route or change what he would normally do when he goes out on a ride. Maybe he got off the bike, went for a walk. He found himself in an unfamiliar area. We've got illness here, which shows that he became unwell and he was a long way from his usual location or a long way from where his bike was found. So illness, sorrow and good outcome can refer to a heart attack. So being unwell, stressed can be a heart attack. It's also a, a finalisation of matters or the end. And gloomy thoughts and sorrow refer to st stress and worry. So something happened and it would be a medical episode because of illness. Something went wrong. And he was far away from being able to communicate. As we saw in the previous reading, he couldn't communicate. And he was a long way from help. And quite often, this if, it's, if we're looking at health, this can refer to a heart attack or something final happening. So I think that answers what went wrong. Um, on his journey that he became unwell, stressed, found himself perhaps in a, a different location to where he would normally be. If it was early morning it probably wasn't very light at the time and um, he could have fallen and his body just hasn't been found. It's a, it's a long way from where you would expect him to be. So it's a bit sad but um, that's what both the readings have indicated. So take care everyone and I will catch you later with another reading. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.